Hi, this is Colin Richards, president and founder of Lord & Richards, and I'm delighted to be talking to you today on the subject of retiring with confidence. And in this segment, we're actually going to take a turn and talk a little bit about a recent study that came out by one of the largest asset managers in the world. It's called BlackRock. Maybe you've heard of the big banks like Goldman Sachs. Well, BlackRock is five times the size of Goldman Sachs. BlackRock manages over $10 trillion in assets. And so it's really powerful when they come out with a study on retirement because they're interacting with people at a level that's almost unimaginably large. And so as we're continuing to talk about retiring with confidence, first of all, understanding the biblical principle of giving so that we can experience God's blessing during our retirement years, but then now talking about the case for investing in a little bit different way, investing in a little bit different way so that you don't run out of money before you run out of life. Wouldn't it be a shame if you know God used you to give, but then you ended up being the one in need because of bad outcomes in your financial portfolio? Six in 10 Americans right now say that they need to catch up on their retirement savings. Maybe it was just because they were slow getting to the game. Maybe they haven't contributed enough, or maybe they've experienced some negatives in the past that have hurt them. Uh, for many people, COVID-19, the pandemic, created a tremendous challenge as people uh, were out of work and unable to save. But among those within that group who have access to retirement accounts, what we're finding is that the savings levels are really just inadequate. And when they're tested out, they're not supporting retirement spending. You know that as part of our financial independence preparation for you, we call it a review, we help you map out and figure out, hey, am I ready for retirement? And we actually simulate out into the future as well as look back in the past to determine where your risks are, what the potential is that you'll be able to retire without fear, with total confidence. See, the problem is if we experience some negatives in our portfolio or if we're not growing very much, it becomes a real uncertain game as to whether you're going to make it all the way through retirement without worry, without running out of money. Half of households, this is a staggering statistic, half of households are not going to have enough income to maintain their standard of living in retirement. There has been a, a series of problems on both sides of the classic bond stock portfolio. Number one, bonds have had low yields for an incredibly long period of time, and that is projected to continue. So when you're looking at the fixed income or the safe part of your portfolio going into or in retirement, that's really a critical piece because we've known for a long time, financial planners of any depth know that as we get closer to retirement and particularly get into retirement, we really need to start de-risking your portfolio, putting less risk in rather than more. You say, well, don't I need growth? Absolutely. So that presents a challenge when the part of your portfolio that's supposed to be safe is not growing. On the other hand, if we decide we're going to put most of our money in equities or a substantial portion, BlackRock is telling us they expect an average of 5% returns in big companies, large cap stocks, over the next decade. You know, people have gotten used to a lot more, and that presents a challenge. There is a critical period. We call it the red zone in retirement. In the 10 years that start just before and continue into your retirement. So five years on one side of retirement, five years on the other. During this period, a high percentage of negative returns, in other words, too many losses, can permanently impact and decrease the likelihood of your success. We call it sequence of returns risk. Think of the market returning 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 over a 10-year period. Well, that'd be a 5% average return. Or how about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? Well, that'd be a 5% average return. But did you know that the number you wind up with, if those are your returns, is different? The one where you start with the high returns and move lower is better than the one when, where you start with the low returns and move higher. Really interesting. So average returns are not a great way to test your portfolio. I see this, unfortunately, all the time. Advisors run a little one-pager and they say, oh, based on this, if we can get a 5% return, you're fine. Oh, well, we're going to get more than that, so we're good to go. Wow, folks, it, nothing could be further from the truth. Those little reports aren't worth the paper they're written on. 
What you've got to do is have someone come alongside of you who will test your probability of success in retirement and use real intelligent software, okay, who will truly map out what would happen if you got sick, what happens if you retire on the day that you're planning, but, you know, maybe someone um, passes away, right, and you lose part of the income in the household. All kinds of variables. When do you take Social Security? What happens to tax rates? All these different key areas of planning are vital. And so BlackRock is just telling us what we already know, but they're also reminding us, hey, if those returns don't go well in your retirement at the beginning and you're withdrawing at the same time, it just compounds the negatives, right? If you take out 10% and the market takes out 10%, wow, that's compounding, but it's the wrong way. So here were the key findings. Number one, they suggest looking for alternatives particularly on the safety side of your portfolio, the fixed income side. The old rule of 100 says, you know, as you're approaching retirement, probably take your age, put the percent symbol on it, and that's how much should be in the safe stuff. So bonds, more conservative bonds. Boy, advisors have been running from that because they can't get those returns, right? But if we go back to that rule and we find a bond substitute that has the power to deliver returns, but also maintain safety in your portfolio, at Lord & Richards, we use a number of devices that do this. In BlackRock, they point to a fixed-type annuity. So annuities that are fixed don't go down, even in bad markets. And they have the opportunity to link to a market index and get some of the up, none of the down, some of the up, none of the down. So it's a pretty cool tool, right? And depending on the type of product, you can get them with no fees. I know some of you have heard maybe bad things about annuities, but those are generalizations usually put forward by people that don't offer the right kinds of products and tools for retirees. And so certain types of annuities can be low in cost, high in safety, and provide good solid growth during periods of market um, upswing, but that especially important floor under your feet during the downswings. Uh, number two, this type of, uh, of an approach offers a greater upside in the median scenario. When, when BlackRock ran returns and they had stocks and they had bonds and then they inserted what we call principal-protected market-linked investing, right? Safe, but with the opportunity to grow, it increased returns on average for most portfolios. It also reduced those bad outcomes by inserting something that's rock-solid safe and Putting that in place of some of the more volatile assets, you can decrease the likelihood that you're going to have those negative, bad returns at the beginning of your retirement. And then finally, some of these offer a special kind of index called a volatility control index, and it really helps provide more certainty about the future. Those volatility indexes reduce these wild, disparaging income uh, um, outcomes, <laughs> pardon me, not income, outcomes. So they help reduce this variance between, oh, it works out great, and oh, that works out terrible, all in the same test. So I want to encourage you to talk to us about what it might mean for you to be able to insert into your portfolio using a process we call institutional risk management, safety nets, pieces that can come in and substitute for things that are either historically not performing well or things that are historically maybe too volatile and provide a greater degree of certainty, a higher degree of safety, and of course, a lower degree of fear. It all starts with a conversation, and I'd love to chat with you about it today. 303-690-3000.